Yeah. Sorry, babies kind of distract me. They do. Yeah. I'm like a baby guy. <laughs> right, they feed themselves. Yes. Yay. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president welcomed to the White House the Saudi Arabian king. Champions in athletic excellence. They dress better than I did in college. <laughs> and awardees in artistic prowess. He also traveled to Massachusetts and Michigan. That September 4th to September 10th, or Heads Up America. Join the movement at Heads Up. Heads Up. Heads Up. Heads Up America. Dot US. On Friday, the president welcomed His Majesty King Salman of Saudi Arabia at the West Wing entrance of the White House, and then into the Oval Office for bilateral meetings. On Monday, Boston was brimming with beauty as Air Force One landed on a lovely Labor Day morning. The Greater Boston Labor Council welcomed the president to their Labor Day breakfast. Middle class economics works. Bottom up economics works. Middle class out economics works. When you make sure everybody gets a fair shot and a fair shake, and you're fighting for decent wages for workers, and making sure they've got decent benefits, when you reward people who are playing by the rules, that's how everybody does better. That's how America gets ahead. The president used the occasion to announce a new executive order that directs companies with federal contracts to offer paid sick leave to their employees. It's just the latest effort by the president to help middle class workers and their families. Before heading home, the president made a pit stop at the oldest continuously operated restaurant and oyster house in the nation, dating back to 1716, the Union Oyster House. How you doing? How you doing? Johnny. Johnny? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get uh, 10 shots. On Tuesday, the president welcomed the Duke Blue Devils men's basketball team to the White House to celebrate their 2015 NCAA championship victory. I'm going to have one of these haircuts when I get out. <laughs> 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 I always wonder about the Plumleys' uh, grocery bills when, when they were growing up. <laughs> I, feel bad, I feel bad for the parents, though. <laughs> On Wednesday, Dr. Jill Biden, community college, community college professor herself, herself, accompanied the president to Macomb County, Michigan, home of robotic students and robots. They toured Macomb Community College's Michigan Technical Education Center, and then he spoke to an enthusiastic crowd of 1,000 students, faculty, and staff about expanding educational opportunities for all Americans. We want you to go to the website headsupamerica.us. We're giving folks a heads up. If you want a great shot at a good paying job, then community college might be the right path for you. And if you work hard, then community college should be free. On Thursday, the president met in the Roosevelt Room with a small group of veterans and Gold Star mothers to hear why they believe the international agreement to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon will make America safer. I just think people talk about the courage it takes to go to war, but sometimes it's a more courageous decision to fight for peace. And, and on behalf of a lot of us, um, you know, I just thank both of you and, and your leadership on this. And we take great comfort knowing we, we won the public debate. And for the grand finale of this West Wing Week, the President and First Lady teamed up to award the 2014 National Medal of Arts and the National Humanities Medal to a stellar range of artists. Yeah, we're, we're intimidated by all the talent. <laughs> I asked her if she brought us in and eat. The NEA and the NEH were established by Congress in 1965 as independent agencies of the federal government. To date, the NEA has awarded more than $5 billion to support artistic excellence, creativity, and innovation for the benefits of individuals and communities in the arts. And in case you missed it last week, check out some behind-the-scenes footage of the President's historic trip to Alaska and the Arctic. And remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week. Nice to see you. It's her bachelor party. Oh, this, yeah, this is your, party. I mean, it's not very I mean, wild. No, it's wrapping up. It's wrapping up. I just, I thought, so it started last night? No, it started oh, on Friday. It started on Friday. Oh, you guys have been going for a while. So what's the date for the actual wedding? October 3rd. October 3rd is my anniversary. Oh, that's, hey. Uh, is that film? Okay, we're ready. Okay, Scott, this is Barack. What's your name? Kristen. Okay, Scott, make sure you treat Kristen right. All right? <laughs>